Hello again and welcome in to another episode where we are previewing the position by position breakdown of the Miami Redhawks for the 2022 season as they get ready to open up against Kentucky on September 3rd in Lexington. I'm Steve Baker, the voice of the Redhawks, joined by head football coach Chuck Martin. Today, taking a look at the wide receiver core. And of course, when you think Miami football over the last several years, Jack Sorensen has been a big part of it. Obviously, he's trying to make his way into the NFL now. And when you look at the core, you also lose another key receiver, but you got some guys that can go get the football for you out there, and I, I'm excited about this group. Mac Hippenhammer leading the way. Yeah, it, we have two returning. You know, we got three stars with Jack, Mac Hippenhammer, and then Jalen Walker. Yeah. Um, obviously, we lose Jack, and Jack had a phenomenal career, and then obviously having a great opportunity with the Bengals, um, and then obviously we're gonna rely on Mac and, and Jay Walk. Um, yeah. They're tremendously gifted uh, leaders. Everything you look for. You, Great chemistry with Brett, great timing with Brett, throwing a lot of balls together. So you know you got two returning guys. Uh, we brought in Miles Marshall, transfer from Indiana. We, we think there's an opportunity there for him to, he caught I think 40 some balls in Indiana in his career. So he's done, played good against some high level competition. There's an opportunity, but there's a great opportunity for some young guys. There's, this, this position has been very lean. Mm -hmm. We've made up for it. Uh, with good tight ends and good running backs, which right. which we certainly have the ability to do again, because right. we can flex out running backs and we can flex out tight ends. Um, but we like our receivers. You know, there's some young guys that we're excited about. Austin Robinson just got got to stay healthy and prove he can do right. it. We know he has the ability. He had a good spring. Um, Jeremiah Batiste has ability. Devin Dorson has ability. Angelo Butts have ability. Those are all guys. Chris Cavalier. So there's an opportunity for our young receivers to step up with Jack. There's going to be a lot more balls to be thrown around and Mac and Jalen are going to eat up most of them right but there's still going to be other balls that are going to be uh, opportunities to go catch and it'll be interesting this cap those guys are at the point in their career where they got to step up and show that they're either going to be guys or they're going to get passed up and, and, and probably probably not be somebody long, else not, be not there, be, yeah. Yeah. so and, and with our receipt with our tight ends abilities and with our running backs abilities to run and catch the football that puts added stress so we had some young guys really take some giant steps this spring and if they take giant steps this fall I think I think that'll be a good group for us. Absolutely. The wide receiver core for the 2022 Red Hawks. We'll flip it and go to the backfield of the defense and talk about the secondary on our ne next episode.